I want to quickly discuss an approach that can help you decide the best career for you. I get questions on LinkedIn and people are always confused. They're asking me, should they become data scientists or should they continue with their Java programmer job? Or should they be doing business and not work in IT at all? I drew this diagram on Norton Pen, which has three layers. And the bottom most layer is your core values or your core abilities. We all are different. And when a person is born and when you're a child, you will see even among children, you see different personalities. For example, I have a friend whose son is very energetic and he's very strong too. He's like rough and tough. You know, he falls down, he will not cry and he jumps. He has a lot of energy. And we always discuss that maybe he should become a soccer player because he has this core ability, such as let's say aggression, for example. See this aggression that I'm showing here, running, for example, physical strength. He has all these core abilities. Now, as he grows up, maybe my friend can put him in some soccer classes, you know, some kind of classes where uh, he can build the necessary skills. So when you talk about skills, it could be whatever skills which are needed to become a soccer player, okay? Your hand-eye coordination, your running abilities, your, you know, how do you target your goal, team coordination. You can build all these abilities and you can become a soccer player. So now the career progression is bottom up. So you are starting with your core abilities, core values, and you're going up in this direction. So if I were to plot an arrow, it will look something like this. Okay. If I talk about my own career, I started as a computer programmer, not because of core values. I was so naive when, when I became engineer, I wanted to earn money. I mean, that was my one goal. Okay, which job earns me money, I will do that. I did not have all this wisdom at that time. So I started with the second layer actually, which is programming, correct? So I started with programming. So I'm gonna just use a different ink and kind of show you what I want to talk about. So I started with programming and due to some events, uh, I got interested into teaching as well. And then later on, I found that I love teaching because I have some inner, core values and core abilities. For example, good, loud, clear voice. Compassion, like when I, I was working in different companies and when I would teach or mentor people, I would have a lot of compassion for them. And using these core values, I improved my teaching skills. By doing experiments on my YouTube channel, I improved my teaching skills, right? So core values is something inner, okay? Something, sometimes people are born with that. And sometimes people develop this core values because of their spiritual beliefs, upbringing, life events, and so on. But skill is something that you can learn. Okay, so teaching, programming, these are the things I learned. And I found my career as a teacher on YouTube. I mean, I, I have a company as well, so I am there's a little bit of entrepreneurship in me, but my primary thing is teaching. So if you think about my career progression, bottom up, right? It wasn't entirely bottom up, but once I realize that my skills are aligning with my core values, I focused on that area, right? Rather than there were some other areas, for example, in this skill where I would have made more money, but I found an alignment with my core values and focused on that. Therefore, if I look at my own career, I call it a bottom-up approach where you start from core values, build the skills, and then you develop a career around that. Let me talk about my brother. So my brother, Bhavin, he's a very extrovert person, very extrovert person. He wants to meet five new people every week. He wants to be surrounded. If you put him in this room, for example, for the whole day, he will probably get depressed whereas i can i can be very happy in my is this is my like my lab this my youtube studio is like my lab i can work on computer do programming 
and I'll be very happy. Where's my brother? Now he's a software engineer. See, he's a computer engineer. But his inner skills are being extrovert, communicating with a lot of people, team building, you know, all of that. So then he built sales skills around that. He realized these inner abilities. And then he thought, okay, I can be a business person. I, I can be a sales person. So he built sales skills. And again, sales skill is a whole science, right? There are so many type of sales, inbound sales, outbound sales, marketing. There's a whole different world and science and skills which you can learn. Inner values and inner core abilities are something they're hard to learn. But the skills is something that you can learn relatively easily. And in our company, he's heading the sales division. And in my company, codebasic.io, he's a chief marketing officer. So he built a career around it. So then he also took this bottom up. Bottom up is basically starting from core values, then going to skills and then going to careers. You will find many other people. For example, my wife, uh, she's very caring. She doesn't like to work on computer. And I never said you should have an IT career because here uh, she has certain option. And if she comes to IT and let's learn data analytics, she can make more money. And she doesn't have to go out, right? She works in a hospital as a respiratory therapist. But when I look at her personality, she's very kind, gentle. She loves working with humans. She doesn't love working with computers and devices. Okay. Uh, so knowing this abilities, kindness and all that, I mean, her father decided to put her in medical profession. She became not a nurse, really a respiratory therapist, but for analogy, this is okay. And that's how she built her career bottom up. So the message I want to pass to everyone is if you are seeing those LinkedIn posts and <laughs> even YouTube videos, I know I have a few videos where, you know, you say, okay, tier three college guy got a job in Google, one crore salary, $300,000 salary. Don't get depressed and don't decide your career based on what your friend is doing or what others are doing. You as an individual, you're very different from others. Therefore, you need to draw this diagram and kind of figure out what are your core values, core abilities. And you can sometimes conduct experiments with yourself. You don't know which career is best. Okay, conduct the experiment. I, I published another video on Ikigai, uh, which is finding a career which aligns with your life purpose before. So you can watch that video where I have drawn the whole flow chart on how you should build a fulfilling career because money is important but after some point money will not matter much what will matter is when you go to your work nine to six are you happy happiness is important right we we earn money why to become happy and if you are spending 40 hours in, in your job which is more time than what you're spending with your family you have to make sure you're very happy during those 40 hours. It's like it's Sunday evening or it's Monday morning. You should be excited. Yes, I will go and I will do this and that. Do you have that excitement? If not, something is wrong. And you can draw this diagram and try to find a career which starts from your core values, core abilities, your life purpose. You build skill around it and then you build career on top of it. If you are already having a career which doesn't align with your core values, there is a way to transition. Don't think you cannot do it. You can do it. You have to be a little creative. But there are a lot of people who are in 40s, or even more than 40, they transform their career to the things that they like. I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, post in a comment box below because this is my favorite area. I, lo I love to discuss things related to how to live your Ikigai life and come up with your best career option.